Okay, thank you. And Carl, uh, you are the cleanup hitter here. Just to introduce myself, I'm Carl Sussman. I'm an insurance agency owner for uh, going on 30 years now. Yes, I started when I was five. Uh, I also work uh, as an insurance expert witness in litigation cases for state court, criminal court, and uh, uh, federal court as well. And uh, I also am uh, the host of a talk radio show about, you can guess, insurance <laughs> that's syndicated uh, on about nine or ten markets right now. So I, I wanted to talk a little bit about what we're experiencing in the industry right now, what we're seeing in the field, what we're seeing talking to consumers, because that's all I do is I talk to consumers every day. They're calling in my agency. We have thousands of, cons of uh, clients. They're calling the radio station. They're asking questions. They want to know what's going on with this. So w based on my experience, let me fill you in a little bit about what it is that we're experiencing. But I think what's important for me to point out first, and, and I forgot, I apologize, which of the David said it first, that uh, inspections are nothing new. This is something that's always been done. When an insurance company is insuring a property, they're going to go and look at the property. That's just part of the process. Now, in the past, it was done one of different ways. Uh, it might have been done by agents like myself. I, I can remember having to go out to properties with the little wheelie thing and you'd walk around the house and, and the thing would turn the numbers and you would get the perimeter of the house. Some of you were smiling, you know what I'm talking about. And we used to have to do this. And consumers didn't love it. They didn't love having us come out and do it, but you know, this was part of the process. Uh, later, some of the insurance companies realized that maybe it's better if they do it internally. They would send their own people out. And as you can imagine, consumers didn't love that either. They figured, oh, this guy is on the insurance company payroll. He's going to look for every little thing. This isn't going to be a good idea. So the insurance industry responded and said, okay, we'll get third parties to come out and do this. So there were companies that would begin to be hired, uh, like these companies we've talked about uh, previously, that would come out and do the inspections. Unfortunately, some of these would provide less than stellar uh, experiences for the consumers. And I, I can speak of some personally that I've heard from, from clients, people that are showing up unannounced, people that are showing up after sending a random text message that says, you know, I'm coming to see your house because of your agent. Just very, it's not a good experience for the consumer. I've had some inspectors call our office saying that they've been chased off their property um, with a gun. Um, so third-party inspectors, it's definitely a, a difficult job, putting it mildly, for the inspectors. And I think it's definitely troublesome at, at putting it mildly for consumers because they have a stranger that's coming. It's invasive. They don't know what they're looking for, what they're doing, who, who are they paid for. So moving on to what, uh, what do consumers think about these inspections, of course, they're not big fans. Uh, they feel that their homes are being inspected because they're trying to find something. The carrier wants to find a reason to either not write the policy or cancel the policy or non-renew the policy. Amy's right. They love calling it dropped. I was dropped. Nobody gets dropped. They get canceled or non-renewed, but I've given up on that battle. It's dropped. It's dropped. So consumers don't like, in general, having their house inspected. They think that something is being done, something nefarious is going on to try and find a way to, to not insure them. They're not sure why it has to be done. Right? We have all this technology. Why is it that we have to have somebody come and look at my house? So they're feeling that their privacy is invaded. So again, the industry pivoted and said, all right, we have all this great technology, right? We're all carrying around. We all have a phone with us. Let's let the, in, let's let the consumers do the inspections themselves. So they tried out something new. It's called self-inspections. And some insurance carriers are doing this now. And they will provide a link to consumers. And they will either open up an app or they'll go to a website. And it will tell them. It'll say, go to this part of the house, take a picture. Go to this part of the house, take a picture. They walk around the house. Sometimes they're taking short videos. Now, it sounds like a great idea because we're eliminating the stranger coming to the house. We're, we're eliminating the employee of the insurance company with the agenda. The problem is consumers are smart, too. And if there's an area that doesn't look so good, you know, it just might not show in that picture. It just happens, if you can believe that. Uh, it, so the lack of compliance we started to see in that, because we would have an inspection that was done by the insured, and then maybe a year or two later, another inspection would be done by either a third party or some other method, and all of a sudden there were things that were clearly there three years ago that they were finding. So the industry is still working on self-inspections, but consumers are smart. Right, And they know if there's something that shouldn't be seen, they don't want to be seen, somehow it mysteriously doesn't show up in those photos. So we're, we're talking about drone and we're talking about aerial imaging right now in general. And I'm going to step it back even further because we're not just talking about drones. We're not just talking about satellite. We're not just talking about um, 
aerial imaging. We're talking about Google Maps. We're talking about Google Street View. We're talking about literally anything that can happen where a property is looked at by an insurance company without actually stepping foot on the property. I'm, I take it as globally as that. And I think that encompasses everything that we're talking about. And I think that if this had been rolled out properly, we would not even be having this conversation because it really is a good thing for everybody. It eliminates the problems that consumers have been complaining about and insurance companies have been complaining about forever as far as inspections are concerned. The carriers have complained about getting bad information. The consumers have complained about the invasion of privacy. So this seems perfect, right? Nobody comes to your house. We just have the information we need magically. The problem is the industry failed horrifically in rolling this technology out. Number one, they didn't tell anybody about it. That's never a good way to start, right? And even as agencies, we were being told your client's being non-renewed because of, we're talking roofs. Okay, the roof. And we'd say, okay, how, how do you know that? Oh, we know. We were literally told that, we just know. And it, it took months before they would say, well, yes, we're using some technology. And then they would finally say, well, yes, we're using Google Maps. And then we'd say, all right, well, can we get a copy of that? And as are in some of the drafts that Amy's uh, presenting, these would be images that were taken four years ago, three, five years, I mean, ridiculous. And so we had to go back to the consumer and say, yeah, your roof was in bad shape, here's the picture. And they'd say, that was four years ago, we redid the roof last year. And, but again, the messaging was so bad because at this point, as we've all heard, consumers are thinking, oh, they're looking to get me. They thought they got me. Now I have to go back and defend myself. So the messaging, the way the industry rolled it out was just horrific. And again, we're, we're sort of playing cleanup at this point. But what we need are guidelines. We need guidelines that consumers will understand and the insurance carriers will understand really benefit everybody because I'll let you in on, on an industry secret. Insurance companies would prefer you never to have a claim. That would be their favorite thing. And consumers would love never to have a loss. So we're really on the same page with this. What we need to do is we need to find a way to be able to have the insurance carriers use this technology, whether it be the satellite, the aerial, the drone, Google Maps, Google Street View, however it might be, but to utilize that information to be able to provide it to the consumers and say, hey, look, you're gonna have a roof leak. I mean, I can see the pooling on your roof and here's when it was, and whether it's a 12 month old photo or 24 month, personally, I would say it should be within a month. It should be as up to date as possible. If you're non-renewing me today, then the risk better look like that today, not six months ago, not 12 months ago. It should look like that right now. And again, with the cost savings that we have, that are, the carriers are talking about, it shouldn't be difficult to have another company come out and do a flyover an area every few months. That doesn't sound unreasonable. It's just going to get less expensive as time goes by. But the carriers need to use this information to their benefit by providing consumers with these problems that exist that would prevent, that would potentially contribute to a loss. Remember, loss is bad. Nobody wants to have a loss. The consumer doesn't and the, and the carrier doesn't. So if we can put together guidelines that the, the insurance carriers will give this information willingly, aggressively, I would say, to try and give the consumer the opportunity to prevent a loss from happening, it's going to behoove the insurance company. They're going to have less claims. It's going to behoove the consumer because they're going to have less losses. And at the end of the day, less losses translates into lower premiums. Even in California, I'm saying that, nobody's laughing. But that's, that's the way it's supposed to work, right? So in closing in general, I, I think this technology exists. It's not going away, it's been there. It's something that now we really just have to get a handle on and be sure that the information that is provided to the insurance carrier is clearly provided to the consumer and in plenty of time for them to take action to prevent the loss, to make changes, to do whatever they need to do to be able to prevent losses from happening, which again, beating a dead horse, because that's going to behoove and help everybody, the carriers and the consumers. All right, that's all I got for you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you found this useful, please be sure to like and subscribe for more content. And don't forget, click here to watch the next video.